Craft Contemporary presents vibrant exhibitions by established and emerging artists who are often underrepresented in larger art institutions. The artwork here can evoke emotions and provoke contemplation through materials and complex processes. Let's take a closer look. At Craft Contemporary, we show contemporary artists who use materials that are often um, sort of within the historical canon of craft. People will often find artists who they've never seen before. And we also really try to focus a lot on LA artists as well. They are using materials that people are oftentimes very familiar with, but in very innovative ways. And again, I think that their use gets you to kind of think about those materials in a different way. So this corner right here is part of the Raw Craft Commodity and Capitalism exhibit. This is such an interesting piece or pieces from artist Ignacio Perez Marowani. Talk to us about what does this mean? What is this? I understand that this keeps evolving with time. So in his installation, which is called Remove, Copper Art in the Andean World, he actually was looking at an exhibition which happened in the mid-2000s at the Pre-Columbian Museum in Santiago. And that exhibition had all of these ancient copper works that he used as a reference to create the metal components that we see in the tanks. And with that, he was really interested in the fact that that exhibition and the museum are funded by a Minera Escondido mining company. So here you have a company that is extracting this material from the land and profiting from it. Um, the government profits from that extraction in various ways and how he wanted to sort of acknowledge that within the ways that the artwork were sort of collected and presented. Both the way he's manipulating it as an artist, looking back at the indigenous artistic practices in Chile and how copper was utilized with those communities, and then looking again at the sort of the corporate production of copper as well. So this is a work by Raksha called Sweet Sweat Spots. And she's looking at the history of sugar and cotton as these globalized commodities and how through colonialism, the production of those materials led to slavery and endangered servitude throughout the world. And with the scrolls, it's almost like they could act as an individual chapter within this history that's often not thought about or talked about when we're both looking at these materials and their, their historical implications, but also just how people use these materials often in their daily lives. With that, the dots uh, that she created to make the pattern, she was also thinking about a sugarcane field and maybe either looking down on it from above and seeing the tops of the sugarcane stalks. Finding the Center is a solo show of an LA-based artist named Echiko O'Hira, who uses mainly found paper to create a range of sculptural forms as well as collages. This is her first solo museum show, so we definitely did want to show as much of her work as possible and kind of create this world that she constructs for other people. And Echiko's uh, use of paper is particularly unique. She oftentimes will build up very densely layered forms. She's not only looking to sort of natural cycles, but the natural world itself and how those circular cycles sort of resonate within forms like flowers, molecules or cells. The programs that we have are pretty varied. It's anywhere from walkthroughs, talks, uh, lectures, but then all the hands-on activities. There's anywhere from family programs, which happen on the second Sunday of every month. There's also craft nights, which is a more adult-based programming. It's all education for you to be able to understand what's on display uh, or the types of processes or materials that we work with, but thinking about that through a tactile experience. Everything's pretty accessible, and that's something that we try to build into all the programs.
right when you walk into the museum, this is what greets you. It's jacked Pantera Atrox, and it's a site-specific installation for the window space because I went to visit the La Brea Tar Pits Which Museum right, across the, right across the street. So walking around the museum, I found the Pantera Atrox, which is an extinct North American lion. And I wanted to combine the use of recycled plastics that it's made out of with a oil pump jack. So when we think about where does petroleum come from, the petroleum that the plastic products are made from, it comes from underground. So my use of recycled plastics is to help draw the viewer's attention to that relationship. Visit craftcontemporary.org for current exhibitions and the calendar of public programs. Then come in and engage in creativity and craft. Thank you for joining us.